Hey guys, this is Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and I'm introducing you to Long Hauler 13. You guys might know him already, he's a beast, uh, he has a machinima contract, and uh, so he, he's out there that, that doing his thing already. He plays a lot of Modern Warfare 2, I checked out his channel, he's got a lot of videos uploaded already, and uh, it's not just Modern Warfare 2, he also plays some sports games and, and has some variety to it, which is kind of cool for those of you that um, are starting to burn out on Modern Warfare 2 a little bit, but uh, he's got all kinds of things available. Anyway, check out his video, sub him up, and uh, tell him what he sent you. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Justin, or my gamer tag is Long Hauler. I'm bringing you a game of Search and Destroy on Subbase today. I want to thank Woody for allowing me to post this on his channel. Uh, I really think, uh, I think what he's doing with the March of Dimes is really cool. I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, he just you know, joined the $50 club for free fame or whatever. Um, but March of Dimes is one of the charities that, that I wholeheartedly support. Um, a few other ones that I participate in events around my home area every year so I thought this would be a good way to um, promote my channel as well as uh, support a great cause so right there you can see the MLG Pro that I am throw the stun grenade off the wall and stun myself right out in the middle luckily I guess they had all gone the opposite way and what I like to do um, on defense on sub base is try to get on this side of the building as quick as I can. Uh, this guy here has got the line of vision on me before I could get uh, to where I could shoot him and luckily he's shooting noob tube so this goes to show kids noob tubing doesn't always pay off. Um, but I guess that's a good point where I can lead in to a little bit about myself. I am a quote unquote older gamer. I am 29 years old. Um, this is really my first uh, it's not my first video game, obviously, but it's my first um, game that I've kind of taken seriously. And when I say taken seriously, it means that just I play it a lot. Uh, you're not going to find me cussing out anybody for using uh, noob tubes or commando or anything like that. I'm under the impression that if it's in the game, it's there to be used. I know a lot of people uh, that take it more seriously and in, in different, you know, different levels of experience with these types of games don't feel the same way and that's fine I mean everyone's entitled to their opinion everyone is entitled to have fun playing the game so if you're not having fun with the way the game is then I don't care if you bitch and complain either so uh, but as you can see I'm in a clutch situation here it was one on three now it's a one on one luckily that guy just popped out in front of me and I saw the other red dot on this side of the map and like I said, I don't like uh, just sitting and waiting, especially in Search and Destroy. Uh, I feel like that more often than not, if I sit and wait for something to happen, that what happens is uh, the other guy finds me and kills me. Uh, but at, on the same token, I know that he's got a plant, so I don't want to do anything that careless. And luckily, I was able to see him here. Uh, I sound hoard him a little bit, and luckily he backed out of the room. He thought I was on the other side. Uh, so going into the next round, I've got five of the six kills um, from the, the from the previous round. I guess I could talk about my kill streaks. I'm using three five seven, the very creative kill streak setup that I know everyone has never heard of, but it's just the UAV predator and Harrier strike. And what you want to do, uh, especially with kill streak rewards in in search and destroy, is you want to go ahead and establish your position and then go ahead then call it in and what I mean by that is if you drop down in the spawn and and wait the I don't know how long it is um, six seven seconds or whatever it is to call it in then by the time that you get up and start moving around you have absolutely no idea where you are so you want to kind of establish your position and call it in but what you don't want to do is what I did right here and called it in in a corner where I only had one way out so all this guy had to do and more power to him he outplayed me is throw a stun grenade out there notice that I'm in one spot and can only be in one spot and come out and knife me so you want to establish your position but while you're doing so you want to make sure that there's alternate routes out um, but I just fast forwarded through it there uh, so you guys didn't have to watch me cycling through the spectation mode and I'm back to square one with my kill streaks, but I do have my Harrier strike. So 
I like to, on offense, establish my position on this box right here. And there's a couple reasons. One of the rush points, I guess, for the other teams is they like to come through this room right here. And more often than not, when they rush into this room, they won't even see that I'm standing on this box. Another reason is across the way right there by that pipe, I guess tucked up beside that building, is a good sniper point. And snipers will sometimes sit up there and try to pick off people in the room that I was just in the room above where I was just sitting. Um, so it's actually a pretty good spot. And luckily, you know, like I said, it was just one of those games where every single time I ran into somebody, they had their back to me. And I guess that's uh, a testament of Ninja Pro or um, trying to get around and, and flank the team. But um, luckily, I'm starting to build my kill streaks up again. I had a teammate here take, I guess, two of the bullet strikes, and I hit, I hit the last one for the kill. And right here I'm gonna start running the second route that I like to take and this one's a lot more dangerous you just have to feel kinda of how the other team is playing and I kinda of felt that they were playing very defensively but you wanna be careful with taking that route sometimes they'll just post up behind that green box right in the center and take people off or take people out as they're coming through that room but I go back here and try to see if that sniper's back in the same room where he just was that last kill and I duck down here to see if I can sound whore anybody, and luckily my teammate runs out and gets the kill and, and gives away that guy's position. And I'm not sure if he saw me here or not, but I was able to get him with a Simtex and pick up my uh, UAV again. And I see everyone's kind of over in this area. I can't tell if that guy straight ahead is inside or outside, but I know what this guy's doing, and it's n nothing. Uh, he's just sitting there. I don't know what he's doing, but sitting there guarding that corner from something and get here to the final kill again and like I said got this guy with his back to me and I don't know if someone wants to go through and count and see how many kills I got with people from behind or from the side where they didn't even see me but you know that's the way that you kinda want things to go in search and destroy so I'm sitting at 14 and 1 and we're winning 3 3 to 2. So got my predator strike again, but you know, like I was saying before, I want to go ahead and establish my position and uh, then call it in. And so I go hop back up here on my box, call in my predator strike, and this is one of the most beautiful predator strikes that I've ever seen. I just crashed it into the side of that building. I I don't know what the hell I was doing. I guess maybe because the other predator had just hit there and I saw a bunch of red boxes and got all excited but um, come back here and there we go hit another guy from behind and this guy I don't know why he's back here again he just switches you know corners in this 2 by 4 area and since it's the or possibly the last round I like to call in my last kill streak to make sure I get the points and luckily that guy, I think, would have killed me if my Harrier Strike wouldn't have gotten him. And I think we're winding up at the end of the game. Yeah, ended up 17-1. Uh, and one. It's one of my better games of Search and Destroy. And hopefully I've given you guys a few tips about um, ways that you can play or how you can call on your kill streaks or something like that. But And hopefully um, you guys will check out my channel. I've got... You know, some Modern Warfare 2 videos, and I've got some other type of videos up there as well. But thanks again, Woody, and guys, check me out. Thanks.